All right, guys, so let's talk about GIMP. GIMP is the free alternative to Photoshop. It is the uh, program I use for editing textures and DDS files for NBA 2K12 and for NBA Live uh, PC games. Um, the problem is that by default, GIMP does not uh, support uh, DDS files, so you need to install a uh, plugin for it. Now, um, you know, again, I have this great tutorial in the NBA 2K12 tutorial section in the forums. Um, it goes over all of the basics of all the tools, but also do covers GIMP as well. And um, it gives you a link to download GIMP and also the link to the DDS plugin that you'll need. Uh, here it is right here. You just hit downloads. And you want to download this right here, this zip file. Now when you download it, um, you'll be given a DDS EXE file and you want to put that in your plugins folder. And as you can see here, the plugins folder is in program files, GIMP 2.0, library or lib, uh, GIMP 2.0 plugins. And if you scroll down, there's my DDS file right there. And that will allow me to import and export DDS files. But to do that, we first need to get the DDS files, which are in the if files that we are used to editing now with the mod tool. So let's minimize this, open up the court, and let's say I want to change um, the parquet texture. Why not? So we're going to hit export res, and save to the desktop. This is texture 1 1, one up here, one here. The file name doesn't matter. That's just how I uh, sort my textures. I want to open up GIMP. And uh, once GIMP opens up, and I am using an older version, I think there's a newer one up. I, you know, once I find a version I like, I don't really update my software. But you just drag over, or you can open it up through the open dialog. Um, I do not load mitmaps, and I don't want to see this dialog again. So here it is. Um, I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to use GIMP for except for certain things. Um, that's up to you, but if, let's say I just want to make it a little bit darker, eh, 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 I don't know, sure, whatever, that's cool. So, when dealing with DDS files in GIMP, you do not want to hit save. That will not save the formatting or anything else. It just saves it without compression and it will screw up the mod tool and everything else. You want to hit save as. And I'm going to overwrite this file, so that's okay. Save. It already exists, that's okay. This dialog is going to pop up. It's going to ask for the compression and if we want to generate mitmaps. Um, as a rule, unless it screws something up, you always want to generate mitmaps. To figure out what kind of compression we need, we again need to look right here DXT1. DXT1. Press OK. It saves. There it is. Import res 1-1. One -one. Open. Success and success. Awesome. Now, that's just for a basic texture. Now, when we have things like the uniforms, if we go down to something that actually looks like the uniform, there it is. Export this out. This is texture number 9. Okay. Import it into GIMP. Now, as you can see, it's all uh, tra kind of transparent. And let's say I wanted to make this uniform black instead of white. If I just, uh, you know, do a fill on this, I, I ew, it just screwed everything up. And it lost its transparency. And there's, there's a big problem there. To properly edit the uniforms, you need to right-click over here in the layers and go to Add Layer Mask. And you need to transfer over the Layers Alpha channel. channel. Press Add. And we can right click it again, show layer mask. And that will show what the layer mask lo looks like. But we don't care what it looks like, we're not editing that right now. You will, you would need to edit that if you were changing like the logos and stuff. Um, if we uh, disable the layer mask and uncheck editing it, because we don't want to edit either. Whoa, now it looks like, you know, the normal uniform. Whoa. So, <laughs> now we can go ahead and do that. Uh, I can throw up the threshold a little bit here to actually make it... There you go. Now it's all black. I lost the pinholes, but that's okay right now. For what we're doing, it's fine. 
right click over here before I save it and I want to apply layer mask and then it applies again and then now the colors are all happening the layer mask controls like how shiny the uniform is but we don't really need to worry about that right now that might be for a future tutorial I don't know but again save as as I want to overwrite and then DXT1 right no always check always check to make sure you have the right one this is DXT5 generate the mint maps okay that's it import res number nine bueno and that's all there is to it um that's that, that's very basic uh import and export uh dds files as well as a basic uh dealing with layer masks um i think this is all i'm going to cover with gimp for now um i'm sure there'll be requests to come back and do more things but I'm going to go on to the Redditor now, the roster editor for 2K12, and I'm going to get my feet deep in that. So I will see you there.